Yeah, it's, it's funny, yeah. Midnight. The first remix I did that became Cosmos Midnight was like done at midnight, so I called it Cosmos Midnight. Right now, every time we've released something, we've already had things we're continuing to work on or things that haven't been released that have been in the background. We've never really been like at the stage where we've had everything done and we have completely nothing to work on. We've got hundreds of 30 second demos that could possibly be made into songs. I and mean, we just gotta pick and choose between which ones we want. So the collab with Lido on um, the Luna George remix was pretty much his Twitter. Like we knew he was coming to Australia for like his tour with Hood Boy, I think. And um, so we just hit him up and we're like, we have to get zero time. And he was like, yep, it's done. We recently just hit up Porter Robinson for his stems for, what's the name of the song? Sad Machine. Sound, sad Machine, not Sound Machine. Sad Machine, um, she's like, it's really anthemic. It's Young like Good is like, <laughs> such a good producer. Shout out to Young Good yeah. if you ever watch this. Have you ever hit him up on Twitter? Uh, I, I haven't hit him up, but I follow him. Like, I don't know, it's kind of intimidating. He's really cool. Like, I'm, I really like want to like get into that grime scene. Like, Masingno and um, Young Good, those guys. Well, no, we want to form a collective. Well, we do collective. want a collective, but I think we call it Dolphin Collective. It's, it's sort of just like Prasenji, Polgraphia, me and Cos, and Wavy. Just, just like a, we want a to Sydney get... group so that people can like know that we're like a unit. Yeah, and yeah like, we all get jackets. Yeah, we want to. Yeah, we yeah, want to get matching shit and like have have like a, a website and like oh, so kind of like move it into something that Mixed that's tapes. coming becomes like more of a what do you call it entity oh, entity. Yeah. Yeah. We've already started something with Tommy, aka Wave Racer, and it's pretty it's well underway and it's sounding sick so far. I feel that a good way to practice your production skills is to try and make as much music in different genres and formats as possible. Try and make hip hop, try and make sample like sample house, try and make synth music, try and write film scores, try and like try every single thing because it will only like get you better. Working in a niche will get you really good at a specific thing but then you'll usually find that your sound gets pigeonholed really quickly. It would be sick to like give writing um, a go for animation and stuff, sort of like Joe Sashi does for Studio Ghibli stuff. He's, he's the bomb. DJing is kind of like a curation of what what you enjoy, which is what I, li I like going out to see. Life sets is kind of like, like a celebration of someone's works, but I like going out and seeing what someone thinks is cool. Contrary to like most people, how they seem to really love hearing songs they're familiar with when they go out, I would, my favorite thing is hearing things I've never heard that really that I really enjoy, and then that's what I usually take and I'll work it into my music in some way. So I was talking to Jonty, and we were like up in Brisbane last year. We were like really wanted to put together a, um, an Astro People basketball team and versus like Future Classics basketball team and stuff like that, and like have like a like a a game down at Glebe Skate Park or Annandale Skate Park. And like, like and bring like a skate off and like have like a basketball game and like bring like decks down and like speakers and like sausages, it'll be so good. <laughs>